My name is Renee Santos, and I'm from the Career Center. I'm from Arlington Career Center. War in the Middle East is a political distraction, so cops killing us doesn't have to be a political action. Exposing the troops of hidden political factions, it's time for us to make a plan of action. Why? Because affirmative action isn't taking its place. Instead, they killed Malcolm X and MLK, flooded the neighborhood with heroin and crack cocaine, promoting music about doing drugs, selling drugs, and just gang bang. Bang! Hands up! Don't shoot! Is what he said. Officers didn't care as he put two to his head, four to his arm. And the young man was unarmed, and yet they tell me there's nothing to be alarmed about. <sighs> I'm tired. Tired of what? Tired of police brutality? Yeah, but I'm also tired of knowing the fact that I got a red bullseye aimed at my back. It's not fair. It's not right that I have to be scared that white people can walk around not worry about police on their tail. Michael Brown. That was the one that said, hands up, don't shoot. That's the one that received two to the head and four to the arm, the man that was unarmed. He left his body outside for four hours. Eric Gardner, another African-American male, killed. Why? Because he was selling cigarettes in the corner without a license. Police thought that they had the right to go up and put him in a chokehold. And the man could clearly say that, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. They showed no remorse. They acted like he was a common criminal that had his coming. And lastly, this lady got pulled over at a traffic stop. White to be specific. Officer comes up. Ask her, why do you have your hands on the dashboard? She says, I've seen a lot of videos. You know what the officer's response is? We only kill black people. What type of stuff is that? I want us as a community to gather together and stand for each other. Because race does not matter. We're all brothers. We need to come together and speak about this problem. To so step out of our comfort zone and to talk about things that make us uncomfortable. I want us to gather and go to Congress and make it that all police officers have body cams so we can see what really is happening and not what the news, all this fake stuff is telling us. Thank you.